Hello, my name is Ryan Gary Kim. On behalf of me and my colleagues at Washington State University and Carnegie Mellon University, I am pleased to present this overview of our article, On-Chip Communication Network for Efficient Training of Deep Convolutional Networks on Heterogeneous Minicore Systems. In recent years, the fields of machine learning and artificial intelligence have taken off, significantly improving the state of the art in fields such as computer vision and natural language processing. In part, this is due to having hardware that can use large data sets to train deep convolutional neural networks or CNNs that can exploit CNNs that are parallel in nature. In many cases, these hardware accelerators are GPUs. However, one of the major limitations in using traditional discrete GPUs is the costly delay in energy interface between the CPU and GPUs. To alleviate this issue, we can reduce the communication overhead through higher integration and bring the GPUs into the same Minicore system. Therefore, we will have these systems that integrate CPUs, GPUs, and memory controllers, or MCs, on the same chip. However, with heterogeneous components sharing the same network on chip, how do you deal with competing traffic requirements, especially for these CNN workloads? This is the main focus of our work, and I'll discuss the high-level details in this presentation. While looking at the CNN workloads for heterogeneous minicore systems, one of our main observations is that a large amount of the traffic is associated with the memory controllers. As you can see from the bar graph on the left, no matter what layer of the CNN, most of the traffic is either core to memory controller or memory controller to core. And this can potentially cause a lot of issues if not addressed properly. For example, we took a look at how normal mesh NOCs handle this type of traffic scenarios. And we can see on the right that because the memory controllers are these traffic hotspots, many of the links within the vicinity of the memory controllers become significantly congested. Some of the links are utilized above six times the average link utilization of the entire network. And this will cause many problems, especially for latency sensitive CPU communication. In this paper, we propose a generic design methodology that can be used for any combination of neural networks and application domains to create a different type of network that uses irregular connectivity and both wired and wireless links to improve the state of the art. And we call this network YHET NLC. And the main goal of this network is to improve the CPU memory control latency at the same time as GPU memory controller throughput in order to achieve highly efficient systems. To do this, YHAT NLC dedicates wireless links to enable single hop, low latency CPU memory controller communication. In addition, it utilizes a irregular network that creates shortcuts to improve hop count and path diversity, and thereby improve network throughput. Now in this work, we present a generic design methodology that creates the YHAT NLC using the traffic characteristics of the particular neural network application. In this methodology, we designed two optimization objectives, minimizing average link utilization and the standard deviation of link utilization, in order to improve the GPU performance by increasing the throughput of the network. Then, using experimental analysis, we systematically determine proper constraints for the network on chip, constraints such as a router's maximum port count, the average degree of a router, and the number of wireless transceivers within the system. Using a multi-objective optimization technique, we find a set of candidate wireline solutions that simultaneously optimizes both objectives within the constraints. We then choose the best network that minimizes the energy delay product, or EDP, and allocate the remaining wireless resources to further reduce EDP. By using the methodology outlined in our paper and YHET NOC, we can re greatly reduce the congestion of the links we saw in the mesh system earlier. This is illustrated in the left shift of the CDF in the graph on the left. In addition, by using YHIT NOC, we were able to improve the CPU memory controller latency by 1.8 times and the overall network throughput by 2.2 times, greatly improving both network QoS requirements. This results in significantly improved network latency and EDP. On average, through the layers, YHIT NOC reduces latency by 41.8% and EDP by 60%. This translates into a total of 13% less CNN training time and 25% less full system EDP. As you can see, these networks have the potential to improve CNN training, especially as these systems grow larger. For more details, please take a look at our article. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy our paper.